everyone, so I'm here to do a product empties video, so if you want to see what I have used up and whether I loved them or loathed them, then keep watching. Okay, so I've got my big box here full of my empties. I'm just going to pull them out randomly in no particular order. Some of them are things I've been using on Sienna. Um, but most of it is kind of skincare, makeup and that kind of thing. So I will get started. So the first thing I've pulled out is the Simple Kind Skin Refreshing Facial Wash Gel. Now I absolutely love this, it's the only cleanser I will use. It's about £3 I think and it just works with my skin really well. It's 100% soap free which is brilliant and it's a gel so it's great for my kind of oily combination skin. Um, it's also one of the only kind of cheaper drugstore cleansers that doesn't have fragrance in because my skin reacts really badly to fragrance and sometimes even with the higher end brands products that say suitable for skin I still find they have perfume or fragrance in which just irritates my skin so I have to check labels really carefully but this one doesn't and just works really well and it's really cheap so that's brilliant the next thing is another skincare item, this is actually another drugstore product, it's the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturiser, it's oil free again so it's brilliant for my kind of oily t-zone um, and again it's one of the only moisturisers that is fragrance free so it doesn't irritate my skin, it keeps it nice and oil free, nice and cooling on the skin as well and because it's from the Clean and Clear range I really do think it helps. Um, combat any breakouts and things like that because it does have salicylic acid in as well and again it's about three pounds so if you have a similar skin type to me then definitely check this out because it's really really good it's the only moisturizer I will use okay next is actually the Jackson Reese kind of by nature natural unscented baby wipes now, I picked these up in boots a while ago and we use them within a few days because we use wipes like crazy in this house um, and I actually really liked these, even Warren commented on the quality of them, which sounds a bit silly, but if you've had cheaper wipes before, they kind of really thin, they break easily, and they're not very, they tend to be not very wet either, to help you clean. Um, whereas these were actually really wet, really good quality, really thick, and um, didn't break at all. And also I really like the packaging, the packaging's kind of like paper, you can just tell that they are better quality all round and they worked really well so I'll definitely be picking some more up when I am near somewhere that sells them. Okay the next thing, this is a bit grubby because it's just been left in my shower um, so I remembered to include it into this video and didn't chuck it away but it's the Herbal Essences Beautiful Ends Conditioner yeah conditioner and I really like this, I really like Herbal Essences although the one thing I absolutely hate, I don't know if anyone else finds this I really hate the packaging because there is still quite a bit in here but I cannot get it out unless I cut the container and sometimes I just can't be bothered to do that, especially when I'm in the shower. Um, I'm not going to get out of the shower to cut it open to get some conditioner. So yeah, I really hate the packaging because it all gets stuck up here and down here and you can't get it out. But other than that, I do really like this one. Next is a body moisturiser pampering nourishing lotion with pistachio cream and magnolia. This smells absolutely gorgeous, it just smells fresh and clean and reminds me of babies, um, I just really really like it, it smells quite sweet actually as well, um, but yeah it really worked great as a moisturiser, it smells good and yeah I just really liked it. Okay next up, this is the Garnier Ultimate Blends 7 in 1 Dry Shampoo. Now I thought I would try this instead of my Batiste and I didn't really get on with it. Um, it says it instantly cleanses with no visible residue and it didn't leave that white residue that Batiste does but it didn't actually work either. With Batiste I kind of spray Batiste in my hair in the morning. It does leave it a little bit white but once I brush it through that kind of goes away and then my hair's good to go all day. With this I found I every few hours it looked oily again so I had to keep respraying it um, and it's only a small bottle so it didn't last me very long at all so I definitely prefer Batiste over this I think although this one did smell quite good. But yeah, I probably won't be purchasing this again. I'll stick to my trusty Batiste. 
Okay, next up is a moisturiser that I've been using on Sienna. This is the Valida Calendula Body Lotion. Valida, Valida, Valida. I really don't know how you say that. Um, Calendula Body Lotion. This is really, really good. We've had this for a while and it actually lasted quite a good time because we only use a little bit on Sienna after her bath. But it smells really good. It's really clean, really fresh. It didn't aggravate her eczema at all when she had a flare up um, it's all natural and yeah it just worked really well as a really good moisturizer that sunk in well into her skin and I actually used this a few times as well and I definitely liked it okay next up is my fake tan this is the cocoa brown if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that I absolutely rave about this this is the tan I use all the time I've been using it absolutely months I think maybe even coming up to nearly a year I've been using this um, I just love it it's a really reasonable price it just leaves a really nice brown tan I never look orange I don't think anyway I never have like a really bad orangey tint it's really natural um, not too dark lasts really well doesn't go patchy doesn't go streaky dries really quickly it's just pretty much everything you want from a fake tan i just absolutely love it i've already started my next bottle of this so and that's how much i love it the child's farm bubble bath this is what we used on sienna if you see my review on my blog you will know we absolutely love this this is suitable for eczema prone skin and I actually found it helped Sienna's eczema, it really cleared it up after one bath I saw a dramatic difference and it doesn't claim to do that so don't go and buy this expecting it to clear up your child's eczema but I definitely think it's worth a go because we really noticed a difference um, in Sienna's skin and it's got no parabens, SLS's, mineral oils or artificial colours um, it's pretty much all natural. There is perfume in it though, but Sienna didn't seem to be irritated by that. Um, and again, it's all natural. So yeah, absolutely love this brand. We've already purchased the 3-in-1 swim of this to try. Okay, last but not least, this is the Clinique Even Better Foundation. I've actually used this up, obviously, as it's in my product empties. Um, used this this morning, so I'm wearing it now if you want to see kind of how it looks on the skin. Um, yeah, used the last bit this morning and now it's run out. So this is basically for evening out the skin tone. It's quite good coverage um, and it's got an SPF of 15 in it as well. I do really like it. Um, Although I did, I repurchased the Clinique Super Balance just because I feel it has a tiny bit more coverage to it and I'm really suffering with my skin at the moment so I felt like I needed the extra coverage. But when my skin is going through a good patch, I do really, really love the Even Better um, foundation from Clinique. So I would definitely repurchase that when my skin clears up and I'm going through a good stage of my skin. So that is my box empty, that's all my product empties. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I don't think I've ever done one, or if I have, I haven't done it for a while. Let me know if you like this, or if you would prefer to see a favourite videos, or if you like them both, and I will do them both. Let me know if you've tried anything that I've mentioned here, and what you think about it. And I will see you in my next video. I hope you're all well, guys. Thanks for watching, bye!